Nigga, I was the nigga that when you was with Aaliyah and was running around holding hands with Aaliyah way before Dame. Like I said, when he was with Aaliyah, the last time I remember seeing him with Aaliyah that I could verbally say was at uh, Little Kim's album release party at the Puck Building. Who was Aaliyah? You talking about Jay Z? Jay Z. When they was couple. When they was a couple. Google, Google right now. Jay Z, no, Aaliyah at the Puck Building. Okay. And you'll see Jay Jay Z got on a uh, a Golden State jersey. You in 2000, Jay was with Aaliyah. If you look on Google, you'll see the the pictures of them together. But they was booed up, so you can see that they was booed up. You know what I'm saying? Hey yo, what's the word? It's Marley and my films. Your boy Mark Black. I'm out here. Thanks for tuning in. Hey yo, y'all see what's going on? Jay Z and Aaliyah. It's been rumors for a while that they were a couple, that they were messing with each other before Dame Dash and her actually was dealing with each other. But people don't go to Google or sometimes you can't find certain shit, maybe. You know what I'm saying? But you go on Google right now, it's right in your face. Um, So no shade on Aaliyah, R.I.P., so I'm not throwing no shade. I'm not going to talk no crazy shit that way. But what I'm trying to think is, as far as Dame Dash and Jay-Z, did they have any real turmoil because Jay-Z was dealing with Aaliyah first and Dame Dash started messing with her second? Because from the looks of like, from looking from the outside in, it's like Dame Dash was so in love with Aaliyah. You know what I'm saying? Every time they bring her up, like, because supposedly he was with her when um she passed. But my thing is, like, how long was Jay-Z actually messing with her before that? Because they say in 2000, he was me she was messing with Jay-Z. She passed in, like, 2001, 2002, the latest. It wasn't 2003. So, like, I right, 2002, she might have passed. Um, I don't know, man. I'm trying to figure that out. But I know people fall in love quick sometime and shit happens or whatever. I'm saying he probably was with Beyonce by this time. But... My whole thing is I wonder if it caused real turmoil between them two. Because if you look at these pictures, I've never seen these pictures. Like, I've seen some of them, kind of. But how some of them look, like, how he got his arm really around her and shit. And, like, how they on each other. Like, they was really together fucking around. Like, they was fucking, like, not to say it like that. But it is what it is. But, um, yeah, this is just really to show y'all, man. Like, as people that love hip-hop, it ain't really for gossip. It's really to show y'all as people love hip-hop. Like, oh, shit, like, for real? Were they really messing? And then it puts it in your head like, damn. And it just makes you think about shit, you know what I'm saying? And life, period, you know what I'm saying? Because people, even in regular life, you know what I'm saying? You just never know who's dealing with each other and, like, um, temptations and love and all that kind of shit. But... Yeah, man, it's for y'all, man. Shout out to Choke No Joke. I'm actually going to put the um link for the original video. I'll put it in the description, and I'll put it as the first comment pinned. I'm saying hopefully he respects it, and I'm saying he's trying to show love and show a little hip-hop history and shit. But um, it's your boy Mark Black, man. Because, like, mind you, we always throwing up the diamond, the rock, you know what I'm saying? Early, early, late, 90, late 90s, early 2000s, you know what I'm saying? So it's just like, it's a piece of history where like, as far as like, cause you know, I don't know. I think deep into this shit, like as far as Luminati, all that kind of shit, when they talk about the rock symbols and all that shit, and it's just like, I was a rock, rock fiend. Y'all ain't hearing me though. But anyway, that's a long story, man. R.I.P. Aaliyah, shout out to Jay-Z, shout out to Dane, everybody that's included in this convo right here. But yo, it's a little hip hop history, man. It's your boy, Mark Black, Molly and Mind Films. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Much fucking love. Speaking of hip-hop history, I got one more thing to say. Keith Murray. I got a couple skits, parodies on my channel that I did of his interviews. Y'all probably like them. Y'all probably crack up. Watch them. Share them. You know what I'm saying? Show some support to the channel, to, you know, uh, entrepreneur slash... I don't even say comedian, but fuck it. I'm doing comedy skits and shit now, too. I'm doing com com comedic shit. I think that's how you say it. Um, <laughs> fucking. Yo, that shit reminds me of nothing. And I'm talking a lot now. But fuck it. We gonna keep this shit going. Yo, did y'all see the, um, that clip that's going around when a nigga was on Will of Fortune? 
and he had to spell everything out and he finally he spelled everything but he, you know you got to say the words after so you got to say whatever the title was or whatever this nigga said a, instead of achilles he said achilles or something this nigga lost he could have had a million bucks anyway that's about that's because i said something wrong maybe possibly but anyway my whole point is uh fuck with me i'm here it's your boy 100